tolerance in Islam, religious tolerance in Islam. Since the very beginning of Islam, Islam taught its followers to respect the beliefs of others. And that's stemming from the very fact that Allah created every human being with the free will to choose. That's why you might find within the same household some people who may accept faith and some people who may reject it. And Muslims would not force their relatives or those who are under their guardianship or their fellow citizens or their neighbors to adopt their faith. Because Allah the Almighty stated in the Quran in several positions, for instance, in one place, Allah the Almighty told his Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, إِنَّكَ لَا تَهْدِي مَنْ أَحْبَبْتْ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ You guide not those whom you love. It is only Allah who guides whomever He wills. So guidance and accepting the truth and believing in the oneness of God is a gift from God. If the person shows willingness, then Allah the Almighty would facilitate accepting guidance for him. But if somebody does not believe, he does not want to accept the fact that God is one. He doesn't want to comply with his command. Belief, as we stated since the very first episode, is a submission. That when you say, I am a Muslim, that declares that you're willing to comply and implement the commands of God on earth. So it is not just a word to be said by the mouth or to, utter, to be uttered by the tongue. It has uh, requirements and responsibilities to be fulfilled. That's why Allah made it very clear. In the second chapter of the Quran, and by now everybody knows the second chapter of the Quran is called Al-Baqarah. In a beautiful verse, he said, لا إكراه في الدين There should not be any compulsion in religion. Why? قَدْ تَبَيَّنَ الرُّشْدُ مِنَ الْغَيْرِ Righteousness has become very clear and obvious and distinct from uh, wickedness, from disbelief. Whomsoever chooses to be rightly guided, he is holding and grasping on a trustworthy hand. And this matter is a matter of choice. So Allah teaches us in the Quran that you cannot force anyone to accept faith or belief. As a matter of fact, in Surah Yunus, Yunus is one of the names of the prophets who is mentioned in the Quran in verse number 99. Allah the Almighty says, وَلَوْ شَاءَ رَبُّكَ لَآمَنَ مَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ كُلُّهُمْ جَمِيعًا If your Lord will, all of those who are on earth, all mankind would have accepted faith and became Muslims. But this is a quality of giving human beings the free will, the choice. He gave them the flashlight. He gave them the guidance. He said, وَهَدَيْنَاهُ النَّجْدَيْنِ We showed mankind the two ways, the good and the bad then it is your call. But based on your call, you bear the consequences. You're responsible for your choice. Then he addressed Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, by saying, أَفَأَنْتَ تُكْرِهُ النَّاسَ حَتَّى يَكُونُوا مُؤْمِنِينَ Will you then, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, compel mankind in order to accept faith? You're not required to do that. History proves that Islam entered most of the countries, most of the world, without fight. Islam in Malaysia, Indonesia, and Pakistan, and India, and those countries enter via the way that Muslims dealt as merchants with non-Muslims, who happen to be following various types of religions and faith and belief. They dealt with Muslims. They liked the idea of monotheism. Muslims were true representatives of Islam, so accordingly, they were inclined into accepting Islam. And now... While Muslims are weak with regards to military forces and, uh, and, and armed forces, yet Islam is still widespread to the point that Islam is the fastest growing religion on earth. So if the theory that Islam was spread by the sword was true, then it was supposed to be the opposite. Since Muslims are very weak in power, don't have the military which is capable to attack and invade other countries, or even defend themselves, that supposedly that we should see more Muslims departing Islam into other religions. But the fact proves that more and more and more people coming from every other religion and entering Islam singles and in groups. 
in the United States of America, in the most advanced country, where I wouldn't say that we're paying any person money or giving him food or assistance or tempting them with any worldly gain in order to accept Islam, Muslims are entering Islam on a daily basis more than anywhere else, more than in Africa itself. There is more to talk about tolerance in Islam after the short break, so please stay tuned.